Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So after my ColourPop unboxing video, a lot of you guys requested, well, tutorials and just swatches and reviews on their lippy sticks and I got six of them which I thought was a pretty good amount to do a swatch video. And yeah, I'm gonna swatch these on my lips as well as on my hands and then give you guys a really nice um, in-depth review of what I thought about them and if I would recommend them at the end. So if you want to see what I think about them and how they apply on the lips, then please just keep on watching. Just to make this a little bit easier for my lips, I'm going to start out with the three neutrals. So the first one we have is called Topanga. And this one is a really pretty dusty kind of a coral color. So this one is the brighter ones out of all the neutrals. And this one is a satin. So it went on really, really creamy. So I'm just going to apply this. And this formulation is amazing. It's so creamy and so smooth and it's super, super pigmented. So with very little like effort and just pressure, you're getting this pigmentation, which is really, really impressive. So this is a really pretty um, dusty kind of a coral color. It's definitely not a brighter coral. So this is perfect to transition from your summer makeup to your fall makeup, where you want to still keep your bright colors around, but still be appropriate for fall. So dustier corals are really, really perfect for that. It's a nice neutral color, but you're still getting a pop of color. So I really, really like this. So we're going to move on to the next color. So next we have Frida, and this is another satin. So it goes on really, really smooth. And this just looks like a warm tone, kind of nudie pink. This is a really nice um, neutral color to have for the fall. So let's apply this really quick. So this is Frida and this is just your typical nudie pink. I think this is a bit too nude for my skin tone right now, especially with my tan. Um, as I start to lose my tan, I think this will look a little bit better. This kind of nudie pink isn't going to fit every single skin tone. I'd say that lighter skin tones to kind of a medium skin tone um, would look really pretty with this color on, but anything from like a medium to dark or even darker skin tones, I think this is a little bit too light for us. So although it's a really pretty nude, I think that I'd have to top it off with a little bit of a pinker gloss or kind of line my lips with pink liner because this is a bit too nude for my skin tone and it's making me look kind of washed out, but it's a really pretty color and great formulation um, as a product itself. So we're going to move on to the next color. Next we have a color created by Kathleen Light and I absolutely love her so I had to pick this one up and this one is called Lumiere and it is a matte. So I'm interested to see how creamy the matte is compared to the satins and it's just like one step down from being as creamy as the satins and it doesn't really look matte to me. I don't know if this is supposed to dry to a matte finish but just on application, it looks just as shiny and just as satiny as the other two. This is Lumiere up here, and this is just a really pretty um, dusty mauve color. So let's see how this applies on the lips. So this is Lumiere, and it's more of a darker neutral. So it's not your typical nudie pink or nude color. I think it's really, really pretty and this color will definitely fit all skin tones, whether you're light, medium, or dark complected. I think it's really pretty. It's more of your kind of Kylie Jenner lip color, but more wearable because the Kylie lip is a little bit more brown than this one. This one is a little bit more plum and a little bit more pink, so it's a lot more wearable. So if you wanna try out the Kylie lip trend, but don't wanna really invest your whole makeup look to a brown lipstick, I would definitely pick this one up. It's really pretty, very 90s, but wearable, and it feels really comfortable for being a matte color. And applied on the lips, it does look like a matte. There's no sheen or satin to it. So I really like this color. Now we're gonna move on to the funner, more bold colors, and I got three of them. I'll do the red first. This one is a matte and it's called Bossy. And this is, yep, it's just your classic um, red color. It's a blue base red, which is fantastic because you know that makes our teeth look a little bit whiter. So we're just gonna apply this one carefully. Thank you. 
So this is what Bossy looks like on my lips and I thought I loved the Kat Von D Outlaw Liquid Lipstick as my perfect true red but this one just totally kicked its ass. It is so pretty. It is your classic true red with blue undertone so it's making my teeth look extra white on camera which is a plus. And it was really easy to apply, especially with the applicator that these come with. They're kind of skinny and on a slant, so they make applying on your cupid's bow and your bottom lip really, really easy. It's really comfortable to wear. It doesn't feel too drying for being a matte color. And if you've been looking for a good red lip product, I would highly suggest this one from ColourPop. This is the perfect red for me, and this is going to look beautiful on all skin tones, whether you're light, medium, or dark. So we'll move on to the more vampy colors. I wanted to see how pigmented their more vampy colors were, so I picked up two of them. The first one is called Blood, and this one is another matte, and it is so creamy. These are so impressive. This is a really nice plummy burgundy color. Like if you want wine lips or wine color lips, then this one is perfect for that um, look. So we'll apply this one really quick. You guys, I am obsessed with these lipsticks by ColourPop. Every color that I put on, I like it more than the last color. I thought that Bossy was my favorite so far, but then this one went on and oh my goodness. This one is just so beautiful. It's so pigmented. This is such a beautiful wine red lip and this is going to be so beautiful in the fall. It's dark but not too vampy where you look kind of goth so this is such a pretty color and i cannot wait for the fall to wear this all fall and it feels really comfortable i'm really impressed with their matte formulations my lips are definitely feeling the abuse but we have one more left and this is called lbb and this is another matte and let's see what this is it's a really really great plum um I feel like this color is going to be really pretty if you want a bold lip but don't want to be too bold or too red. This is going to be a great alternative. So let's apply this really quick. This is LBB on my lips and it's also a really great fall color. This is your typical kind of plummy, bruisey purple color and it's really pretty. I think purple is kind of a tricky color to wear especially on your lip but this one is just really really great and it feels so comfortable on the lips. This one is definitely more purple than blood whereas blood was a burgundy color. This one is a nice plum color. So if you want another bold lip um, alternative for the fall and winter, this is another great one. So my final thoughts on these lippy sticks from ColourPop is that they are a definite must-have in your makeup collection. If you're someone like me who has a crap ton of lip products, I would still definitely recommend picking some of these up because they are so pigmented, creamy, comfortable to wear, and they're only $6, which is kind of crazy. I've been so impressed with everything that I've got from ColourPop so far, and these are no exceptions. They're amazing quality. I can't believe that they're cheaper than most drugstore products, but the quality is as good or even better than high-end brand stuff that I own. The satin formulations apply so easily and smoothly and creamy and just feel so comfortable on the lips. But even the matte formulations feel amazing on the lips. They're not drying. They don't pull at your lips. Um, they don't feel tight. I'm wearing a matte color right now and it doesn't feel tight at all. I can talk easily and it's not cracking between the lines on my lips so they're so comfortable to wear they're so pigmented i just wanted to quickly show you how much products you're getting um there's one gram of product in here and let's see how far this twists up so you're getting that much lip product and i think that's a pretty good amount because these are so pigmented that you need very little to get the pigmentation on your lips so that's a pretty impressive um, amount of product for six dollars another thing i love about these um, lippy sticks are that there are amazing swatches on their ColourPop website. They show them on darker skin girls and lighter skin girls and they show you what it looks like on the lip. 
so it's really easy to shop for them because if you see the lip product by itself um, on a website, it's hard to kind of gauge and see if it would look good on your skin tone. But since they put it on different skin tones and different colored girls, I think it's really, really smart and it makes it really easy to shop on their website and pick out colors that you would like, that suits you, and you would feel comfortable wearing. So I love that about ColourPop. And if you spend $30 on the ColourPop site, it's free shipping. But believe me, spending $30 on their website is so easily done. They have a crap ton of products, of colors to play with, and I'm just so impressed with everything I got so far. I'm definitely going to be picking up more colors, so as soon as I pick up more, I will definitely do another swatch video for you guys. So that's it for this video, guys. I hope that you guys enjoyed it, and I hope that it was helpful. If you are on the fence about ordering from ColourPop, I would highly recommend it. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye, guys.